What's up, Ready Force? It is Colt with another video. I'm going to start a new series, and this is the new series. Um, it is going to be going over every single uh, individual release uh, from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Dragon Ball uh, GT, Dragon Ball Z Kai, Dragon Ball Super. That's including manga, DVDs, VHSs, laser disc, mini DVDs. Uh, did I say man manga, comics, graphic novels? Everything that I consider is something that. Uh, is needed in everybody's collection if they're going for a fully uh, completed collection. Uh, anyways, this is going to be uh, episode one. Uh, and since uh, I said I'm going to go over every individual release, these are the 30th anniversary Walmart sets. So uh, I'm packaging them all together. Like, same with the Dragon Boxes. I'm not going to go over each individual Dragon Boxes. If it can be completed in a set, it's going to be in a full set like this. But, uh, yeah. Like, for instance... Um, if it's uh, a single VHS tape, like the Tien Shinhan Saga, yeah, it's just going to be one tape. Uh, so, But for the bulk, I'm going to do it like this. Hopefully, if this series progresses long enough, i, I got to do like over 500 items. So hopefully um, hopefully I get that done. It'll be awesome. But, uh, but yeah, so we're going to go over to the 30th anniversary Walmart sets. Uh, as you can see, uh, these are the orange bricks for seasons 1 through 9, as you can see. Uh, they also released the um, Broly, uh, the Legendary Super Saiyan, that's the movie 8. Uh, the Broly 3-pack, uh, which comes with all three Broly movies. Uh, the movie 3-pack, which comes with uh, Bojack Unbound, Fusion Reborn, and Wrath of the Dragon. Uh, it comes with Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods, DVD, and Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F uh, DVD. And it also comes in the Blu-ray DVD combo packs beside you of those following movies, uh, Battle of Gods and Resurrection F. Uh... But now I will go and show you the covers of all of these, so um, be back. Alright, so season one of the Walmart 30th anniversary set. Let's get a little closer here. Alright, season one of the 30th anniversary Walmart. Uh, it has a Vegeta with the scouter. Uh, and... Uh, most people already know this, but underneath it, it's just the original orange brick. Uh, it does not come with insert or anything like that because they stopped producing those. But mainly, uh, what people are after are the uh, slip covers. So, take it as you will. But yeah, the artwork is amazing. And as you saw earlier, you saw the uh, spines and all that. Uh, but here's a spine. The other spine, I think they're the same. The back oh, the back is pretty awesome too. But yeah, it's, it's the same thing as the uh, orange bricks. Still, it is a different UPC code, so it is a different release, even though it is the same release, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, now to Season 2. Uh, and, yeah, uh, leave your recommendations in the comments of what do you want to see next. Alright, Season 2. This is a... I really like this art uh, as well. I love all the 30th anniversary art. It's beautiful. But, yeah, Season 2. And as... So, the before and the after. I love the back. I love the, oh, the inserts are just so good, man. Uh, and that's it, season two. Season three is a beautiful thing as well. Gotta love season three. And these are actually hard to come by. Uh, uh, I had to piece them together and it took me like four months to piece them all together, which, you know, isn't really that bad in the grand scheme of things because I've been collecting for seven years. Uh, I'm still missing eight things as of uh, this video. But uh, yeah, uh, I know I, I know a guy that got them all in one fell swoop. Lucky son of a gun. Uh, yeah, but I had to struggle with them. But I love the artwork on season three. Yeah, I don't think I showed the before. All right, season four. Season four is one of my um, favorites, just because I love Future Trunks, man. All right, season four. You gotta love it. Before the anniversary art is so good, man. I I'm, I can't stress it enough. In the back, cannot stress it enough, my friends. All right, season five. Season season five is the worst. I don't know what I don't know what went on with the graphic designer with Cell, but like, good God, 
I don't know, man. Too much blank space, and like his, his face was just poorly drawn. And the back, the back's good though. Whoever did the back, props. But yeah, the cell saga. I, like I like the more modern take they uh, approach this at. Season six is a really good artwork too. Like that Goku's amazing. Uh, and the uh, before the before one was amazing too though. But the 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 the, the, the old one definitely gave me uh, some old school vibes uh, from the cell saga. The back is amazing too. <clears throat> uh, season seven, season seven. Uh, even though Piccolo shouldn't be on it, I I do dig Piccolo. Season seven. That art is awesome too, as well. And the back. And by the way, these came out in um, 2019. I actually told myself I wasn't going to pick them up, and then I tried to get them in 2020. And holy god, how hard was it to find them? Uh, the season sets weren't too bad, but it was the movies that were the pain in the butt. Uh, but season eight, uh, I don't know why they put Majin Buu on. I mean, it makes more sense that they put Majin Buu on there, but I don't know. Like they they were faithful to all the other ones except for this one. Like all the characters are the same besides this one. Doesn't make sense why they decided to change it, but they did. But, but I, I mean, I personally like Buu on there instead, anyways. But still. Boo Saga. Season 8. Alright, last season. Season 9. Uh, also a very good artwork in my opinion. Uh, Vegito. They stayed faithful on this one. And the back. Pretty good. So that concludes the uh, 1 through 9. Uh, I about said still books. Uh, which are coming out. <laughs> At the time of this video, uh, season's... Four and five are coming out next Tuesday, so that's good. So uh, now we're on to the movies, and this is probably the rarest one of this entire set. Uh, is it is the uh, movie eight Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan thirtieth uh, Walmart um, edition? It is the hardest because it was the least picked up, probably the least produced one, I would say. Uh, but yeah, the artwork is beautiful. And I don't know why, I don't know if you can see it on here, but they they released from movies 8 to 15. They did not release uh, 1 through 7 for some reason, so don't ask me why. But yeah, the back's pretty good. And and the funny thing about it is, and I've done some like deep, uh, very, very deep, uh, like, comparing this one. Because this is, this is the, like, 2000, People are gonna quote me on, but I'm, I'm gonna just say 2005. It might be like 2003 to 2006, in between that era. This is the artwork they used in the uh, original Broly movie, the first release that's not on VHS. And uh, yeah, I thought it was maybe just old stock they had and just put it in there, but it's not. This insert is a total reprint uh, because uh, the UPC is slightly different from. Well, yeah, I think the UPC is slightly different from the original and. The uh, original came in a white case, uh, and it came in a black case if you bought the box set. And this is a clear case. And Walmart uh, stuff have always have, Walmart has been putting uh, their new uh, Dragon Ball uh, exclusives in clear cases. So this is a reprinted insert. So evidently Funimation still has these old inserts on like computers. But yeah, that's just a little fun fact I wanted to point out there. All right, now probably one of the my most favorite artwork of uh, the 30th is the, this ain't going to stand up for me, is the 30th uh, anniversary uh, Broly 3-pack. I love it. I love it. I love it. And uh, this is a, a actual, a, a completely brand new uh, release because it, the uh, box is different. It's the same as the Blu-ray, which for some reason they didn't make a slip cover for but it's really easy to get the uh, blu-ray version of this one uh, but yeah the movie three pack but that one's these are also really hard to obtain as well uh, and now we have the movie three pack uh wrath of the dragon bojack unbound and uh, fusion reborn uh this artwork is okay in my opinion it's not my favorite uh let's see this is also a brand new entirely new release as well 
But yeah, you have a uh, Vegito on the, I mean, Gogeta on the front. So it's like, just like the Broly three pack. It is a brand new release, brand new uh, artwork on the DVD as well. Uh, I really do love BOG the DVD and uh, release just because it doesn't have the Blu-ray bars on top, but you'll see in a minute. But yeah, uh, Battle of Gods, and I love the back art too. But yeah, the release is exactly the same as the original edition. So there you go. And now to Resurrection freaking F. I I don't I just love the DVD versions of these just because. The image is more is bigger and uh, more full, if you ask me. And Zabak, I love blue uh, Vegeta. But yeah, and this is also the same case as the original counterpart, minus the slipcover. All right, and down to the last two, we have the Battle of God Blu-ray combo pack. Uh, it's the same thing as the uh, DVD except it's it's a blu-ray DVD and it's same thing inside as the original release and last but not least we have Resurrection F blu-ray DVD combo and like all the others it's the same thing but the the, the uh, well the UPC is different well kinda I'll show you that's on BOG and Resurrection F Oh, actually, my Resurrection F is not sealed, so you can't see the UPC. All they did is they just put a sticker on it, changing the UPC. I guess for they had to. I'm not really sure, but I think the same same applies. See right here, they got a sticker uh, over it. Uh, I guess they printed the same inserts or whatever they did. They just had to put a new UPC over it. I don't know why, but they did. But that yeah, that covers it for the 30th anniversary Walmart sets. One of my favorite additions to my collection, just because the artwork is absolutely beautiful. But yeah, um, this is the first episode to the series. I, I don't know if I have any particular order of what I'm going to do next. So definitely leave your comments below what you want to see next. Uh, and uh, we'll try to make it. Um, I was going to do like going in a release date from beginning to end, but I decided to, to not do that. Unless you guys want me to. But I kind of want to do the stuff that I enjoy first. But it's it's really up to you guys what I do next. Um, what are you interested in? What do you need more knowledge on? Or whatever. Or just what you want to see in a more clear backdrop. But yeah, uh, that's it for this video and the 30th Walmart sets. Uh, if you enjoy, please subscribe, like, and leave a freaking comment below. And uh, I'm going to try to do these weekly. So I'll see you guys either on the streams or next week with this video. You guys take freaking care. Peace out.